All right. Revival went A-OK. -okay. I know you've just woken up, and you're probably wondering what the hell's going on, but we're short on time. I'll give you the gist of things while we wait for the wormhole digger to finish starting up. Okay. So, basically, I'm going to be sending you to another dimension. Yeah, I'm sure you have plenty of questions, but I haven't got time to answer them. Just listen to me. Take a look at this photo. 1968. South Vietnam. It was taken in a town in the north by a journalist accompanying American forces. He took it right before he was killed. Killed by the thing in this photo. And that thing used to be human. Don't believe me. In the section, we have a name for humans that have turned into these monsters. We call them Wanderers. They get infected by this life form we've yet to fully understand. And they end up like that. Wanderers are extremely ferocious. They attack anyone they see indiscriminately. But the worst part is, even when you destroy a Wanderer, the life form that infected the person doesn't die. If we don't do something about them, before we know it, there will be enough of them to destroy the human race. Fortunately for us, back then they appeared in a part of Vietnam where American forces were fighting. That meant we were able to send in a team, in amongst our boys, to wipe them out fast. We got every last one of them. We made the operation look like one of the massacres that occurred throughout the country. Of course, there's a reason this section was able to detect their presence. We've known about this life form for decades now, and about the world it comes from. While it looks a lot like ours, it's populated by wanderers. It's like a vision of hell. We at Wardenclyffe section first observed a wormhole to this other world about 30 years ago. We've studied them ever since. The reason being, we can extract energy from wanderers. We call it Kuban energy. We're talking about a massive energy source. One that could very well shift the balance of power in the world. As you know, six months ago, an enormous wormhole appeared over Mother Base when ExoWeb attacked you. That event enabled us to obtain the coordinates of their world. So for the first time since our research began, we sent out a manned expedition team, the Charon Corps. But we lost all contact with the Corps a while back. Our assumption is they're all dead. You'll have two mission objectives. First, recover the research data the Charon Corps left behind and gather Kuban energy. Second, rescue any Corps survivors you come across. I'm aware that ideally we'd be sending a team that's fully equipped for this kind of mission. But there's no time for that. Not with the Hound of Hell after us. Plus, with the energy we have at the moment, the wormhole will only be able to transport one person. You'd rather sit this one out? Sorry, but you don't get a choice. The reason being, you're already infected with that life form I was telling you about. And if you don't want to turn into one of those things, you better do what I tell you. The Curon Corps' research data should include information on a way to prevent a person from turning into a wanderer. Looks like the digger's ready. When you arrive on the other side, start by heading for the base camp that the Corps used. I'll be issuing all instructions by radio. Guess I'll see you in hell. Good luck, Captain.